We're about to learn LangChain in three minutes. LangChain allows developers to combine LLMs like GPT-4 with external sources of data and computation. It can connect to an entire database of your data. Then you can take actions based on the data. Often the data is stored in a vector database. So basically a user can ask questions of a language model and then that language model will go to the vector database to get information. And then the information from the database is fed into the language model. And then the language model takes the question and the data and can provide an answer or perform an action. LangChain helps with applications that use a pipeline or a chain where one thing happens after another. Let's make our first chain. To simplify things, we're not going to connect to an external database. So let's get LangChain set up. LangChain will usually require integrations with other model providers, and we're going to use OpenAI. So let's do pip install OpenAI. And now we'll just create an environment variable for the API key. Now we'll start writing our code. We're going to get predictions from a language model. The basic building block of LangChain is the LLM, which takes in text and generates more text. So for example, we're going to build an application that generates a YouTube video title based on the video description. So we're going to need to initialize an OpenAI model wrapper. Since we want the outputs to be more random, we'll initialize our model with a high temperature. Now we can pass in our predictions, give a good YouTube title for a quick LangChain tutorial. And we'll make it a variable and we'll print it. Let's try it out. Create your own lane chain in five minutes, a quick tutorial. Hmm, pretty obvious. Now let's talk about prompt templates. Most LLM applications don't pass the user input directly into the LLM. Usually they'll add the user input to a larger piece of text called a prompt template that provides additional context on the specific task at hand. So let me show you what that would look like. We'll import langchain.prompts and we'll put the prompt on here. So the prompt, prompt template, prompt template, give a good YouTube title for a video about and then we can pass in the subject. So up here, it was basically hard coded. It was always about LangChain, but now it can be about anything that we pass in. We pass in the subject. Now that we have a model and a prompt template, we can combine the two. This is a chain. Chains give us a way to link together multiple primitives like models, prompts, and other chains. An LLM chain is the simplest, most common type of chain. It passes an input first to a prompt template and then to an LLM. So we're gonna replace this with something else. Okay, so here's the chain. By the way, we did import langchain.chains, and now to use LLM chain, we pass in the LLM, we pass in the prompt, which we already made up here, and then we run, and we can just pass in whatever is going to be filled in, in the template. Okay, let's try it out. Introducing LangChain, a revolutionary language learning platform. Ah, oh, not a bad title, except it's not really relevant at all, but we still got a title from that. And there we go, our first chain. You now know how to make chains in LangChain, and you can now put LLM developer on your resume. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.